Hello, YouTube ladies and gents. <laughs> my name is Melody. Uh, my friends and my family call me Mel. Some call me Melly Mel. Some call me Mello. Um, my name is Melody. Mel is just sufficient. It's fine. Um, I'm okay with any of the AKAs. You may have stumbled across my channel just browsing or searching. Uh, you may be here because I sent you an invite. You may be here because one of my subscribers sent you an invite. In any of those cases, welcome to my channel. This video here is my first, and it will kind of introduce you to me, um, let you know where I come from, where I hope that I'm going, and where I would like for this channel to go. It just gives you a little insight um, on who I am and um, what I'm about. I'm not going to give a whole lot on this video, but over the course of the next few days or the next few weeks, um, you will get more and more and more um, as I get comfortable with this channel and uh, making videos. If at the end of this you like what you hear or you're interested in continuing to see additional videos, um, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment as well. And if you can think of anyone else who may also be interested, go ahead on and send them um, an invite as well. Don't forget to click the little bell so that you get notifications when I upload uh, new videos. As I said before, my name is Melody. I do live uh, in Sacramento, California. I'm 45 years old, and yes, I am a lesbian, stud 101. Um, I come from uh, Washington State. I was uh, born and raised there. Um, I was there uh, for several years until I was in my 20s, early 20s, probably 22, 23, um, before I uh, moved and came to California. So uh, really quickly, I came out when I was 21. Um, it was not a huge ordeal. It was not um, a struggle. Um, just about everybody that I told um, that I was a lesbian, that I liked women, um, were okay with that. None of them shunned me. Um, none of them disowned me. Uh, there were a lot of questions from some people, uh, but for the most part, everybody was uh, pretty open to that. I do come from um, a very religious family background. Um, they are all uh, Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ. And if you are familiar with them, you know that um, they are very biblical and um, very condemning, I think, of gays and lesbians. And uh, we're all going to hell. There's no way that we could possibly um, have a relationship with God. I can say from myself that I do have a relationship with God. I do pray daily. Um, I do have faith. I do believe um, in Jesus Christ, I, I do have conversations with him. I do believe that he speaks to me. I do believe that he draws me um, into doing things, um, that he gives me ideas, that he plants thoughts in, in my head that I may not have thought about before, and suddenly I'm getting all these ideas, like this YouTube uh, channel, um, and it allows me to do some of the things that I believe he has called me um, to do. Um, anyway, so I will start with um, there was a point in my life where I felt like I was at rock bottom. I was um, losing an apartment. I had lost two cars. Um, I was behind on all my bills. I was defaulting on student loans. Um, all kinds of things um, were happening to me um, during this period of time. Um, I was struggling. Well, it wasn't, um, it, it was, wasn't during the time that I had come out. This had been um, a couple years um, later, uh, just, bef just before I moved this last time. So there is a story um, there. Um, briefly, I was um, working a pretty good job. I uh, went to school to be a massage therapist and I decided I was no longer going to work at this job. I was going to do massage therapy full time. That did not work out um, the way I expected it to. 
and I um, that was during my rock bottom period. But the first time I was in California um, was about 2000. Um, I came out here to visit an ex-girlfriend and ended up staying. Uh, I was here for several years, never went back home. I just um, hung out here. Uh, we lived in Red Bluff um, at the time. Uh, things went well at first and then they didn't go so well. Um, we ended up breaking up and now I had to figure out what I was going to do because I'm not from here. I had a few friends but no family and now I'm having to start over because when I left Washington to be here I got rid of everything and moved in with her. So I was basically starting over again. I was able to do that. Um, I bought a house and everything was going okay for a little while um, and then suddenly things weren't so great and I, I lost a job. I was able to uh, keep things going for a little while because I got another job and then I got laid off from that job and then things started to uh, kind of spiral downhill from there. Um, so I moved from Anderson, who was where I got the house, to Sacramento with the company that I'm at now actually. Um, I found a job in Sacramento and still lived in Anderson at first. So for the first three months I was commuting back and forth. It was about a three hour drive um, each way and I did that for about three months and then decided this is too much. I can't do it. So I basically gave up the house. I let it go and I moved to Sacramento. I was here for probably two and a half years or so and things started to happen. My, my stepdad had a heart attack. Um, people were dying. Uh, my father died in 2005. So there was, there was a lot of things that were happening. I decided I needed to move back to Washington. So I moved back to Washington. And I, what's weird is I didn't even see these people at all that much moving back to Washington than I did when I was in California. But um, such is life. So then comes in um, me getting the good job, uh, starting massage, and things um, kind of starting to fall apart. So I was back for, for like three years. And as things started to fall apart and, and everything um, felt like had changed, I felt like I was at the rock bottom that I never thought I'd be, um, I decided I was moving back. So I contacted the job um, that I had before to see if there was anything that I could possibly do now. And they told me to come on out and apply to some stuff. Um, so I did that. And in the meantime, I was getting out of the house I was about to be evicted, the apartment I was about to be evicted from. Um, I had, like I said, cars that were foreclosed on. So I had people come and get my stuff and put it in a storage unit um, that I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to pay. And I lived with my aunt and uncle for about a month, maybe two. Then I moved to Chico and stayed with a friend of mine I had known for several years. And I think I was here about two months and then she told me I had to leave. So here I am with no money I'm waiting for a job to start, and she tells me, you gotta go, I can't have you here. No explanation, just you gotta go. So I'm finding places to go, and a good friend of mine, Patricia, um, allowed for me to come stay with her and her girlfriend, Jazzy, um, to be closer to the job I was about to start working. So I lived with them for about a month, a month and a half as I was preparing to start this new job and I was able to start this new job and then get my own apartment. Well at this point you know you're going from having no money to money to get this apartment you're still struggling to pay these bills and that's where I was. I was still struggling so I had been living on people's couches. I felt like I was homeless. There was even a moment where I had to go get food stamps and that was the hardest moment of my life and I stood at that counter telling this man I'm at the bottom um, that I have ever been and I'm crying 
sobbing and sobbing that I had to go into this place and get food stamps because I had nothing. Um, so then I finally got to a place where I was doing better. I was paying more things, but I was still living paycheck to paycheck. I didn't have anything to do um, extras with. So it was kind of pay this, pay this, wait for the next check to come, pay this, pay this, wait for the next check to come. Uh, but I needed a car. So I added the car to the list. So then there was more I had to pay, but I needed this car because I needed to be able to get to work every day. Um, so I got this 2003 Mercury Sable. I was hoping I was going to be able to get something better down the road, but this is what worked for now. I was able to get back and forth from my apartment to work. Um, I was slowly starting to pay some stuff down but not enough. So I decided um, I was here 2011. So about 2013, I decided to file for bankruptcy. And I did that to try to wipe a lot of um, my past debt out and try to um, have a way to start over. But I told myself, if you're going to do this from this moment on, you can't get into debt like that again. You have to do better. You have to be better. So I did and I was and my credit is so much better now that I was able to buy a house and I bought my house about three years ago and um, it's been great being able to uh, own my own. Um, about a month ago I got a new car, a 2017 Nissan Sentra. So I'm getting better, I'm doing better. Um, the only thing right now that I'm struggling with is the relationship stuff. And uh, I hope to have that figured out here pretty soon. Um, I did meet someone a couple years ago, almost a couple years ago, it's been now. Um, and we were together and then I broke up with her. And then we were together and I broke up with her again because I can't get myself together. I'm struggling, I think, with the independence and having someone um, come into my space. I have two dogs right now and we kind of work well. And everything kind of works well. And then when you have someone come in and it changes everything. Um, so I'm working on that. Um, you will probably see her in some of the videos. And we might have some videos about our process um, and uh, where I would like to see us soon. Um, so that's, that's the basics of kind of where I am. Um, I, I don't do a whole lot. I, I don't go to a whole lot of places. I'm not partying at this point in my life. Um, I do things around the house. I collect model cars. Um, I'm really into Marvel's movies right now. Uh, so I may talk about some of that and some of my excitement about that. Um, I am in love with Janet Jackson. Uh, so anytime you have something to, to uh, say about Janet Jackson, just drop me a line and, and we'll talk about it. Um, so anyway, my focus for this channel is just to be positive. I'm hoping to have um, some videos of people's coming out stories. I'm hoping to have some videos um, about people who are in recovery, um, videos about moms of um, maybe autistic children. Um, I, the spectrum is high, um, but I want to get those people who enjoy um, hearing good stories of people just triumphing and, and becoming who they were meant to be. And you may have had struggles along the line, but where are you at now? And you can't always hold your past or what you've been through as a factor to where you're going. And you know, I could, I look back on my life now and where I was, and if I was to use that as a pathway to where I'm going, I'd be in trouble. And so thank God that we can start over and every day we have a new day and every moment um, we can do it differently the next time. You learn from your mistakes and you, and you keep on going. So that is my goal, that is my hope. Um, if you like this video, click like. If you're interested in hearing more later, subscribe. Don't forget the bell and don't forget to share. God bless.